Hello, I'm Peter Marzano, and I'll be covering the post game for the unfortunate Game 3 between the Vancouver Canucks and the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, at the beginning of the series, Gabby said that the Hawks had a switch and they would turn it on, and that Vancouver should be welcome to their nightmare part 3. Well, she got the nightmare part right, except, uh, I guess, it turned tables. The Chicago Blackhawks are experiencing a 3 games to 0 deficit. The first time that this has happened since 1995. Now, Vancouver won this game 3-2 with the Hawks' two goals both coming on power play conversions, which is a positive in a way since those are the first power play conversions of the series, but at the same time they couldn't light the lamp in even strength, which makes it a, a big problem coming up for the mathematically must-win game 4. While they did apply more pressure onto Roberto Longo in this game, and they did have a great first period as they came out of the gate flying and ready to attack. The Hawks lessened up the pressure, and just like I said for the keys of the series, they were not playing a full 60 minutes, and for the first three games, they're not playing every game like a game seven. And with the Hawks not playing with this intensity and urgency, it doesn't show the potential of the team that they have. So at this point, the Hawks really have to play Game 4, the best game that they played all year, or for the past three years for that matter. Um, state of being down three games to nothing, it's been done four times in all professional sports where a team has come down from three games to nothing back to win a best of seven series. It's happened three times in the NHL, once in the MLB. But recently it happened last year when the Philadelphia Flyers came back against the Boston Bruins in the Eastern Conference semifinal. So it's been proven that it obviously can be done, but it takes a lot of intensity, mental strength, and courage to go back from this heartbreaking deficit in order to win a series and then getting momentum to go much further than that. But right now it just seems that the key players are not producing. Jonathan Taves, Patrick Kane, Marion Hosa, you know Patrick Sharp did light the lamp tonight, you know Duncan Keith, Brian Campbell, all these people are not putting up the numbers that they need to do in the postseason, and they definitely did last year. When Ben Smith has two goals already in the postseason and Jonathan Taves has not lit the lamp yet, that is a, it's a big problem, and we need to get the, uh, the, the key players in order to, contri to contribute in order for the Hawks to survive another game, and that'll be a, that's a big problem for the Hawks at the moment, so uh, it's going to be a rough two days for the Hawks. Hopefully they get back into shape for their Wednesday night meeting with the Canucks. Uh, but another thing I have, uh, Tuesday night meeting with the Canucks, and uh, another thing I have to mention is they had a, a minute 17 second 5 on 3 early on. And I've noticed this in every hockey game. If a team gets a lengthy 5 on 3 at the beginning of the game and they do not convert, it usually swings the momentum towards the other team. It did again tonight. The Hawks had a one nothing lead. They could have been up 3 to nothing, But when they couldn't convert there, the Canucks got the momentum back and they ended up winning the game after scoring two quick ones in that second period. But first of all, we have to switch gears here to the team in Chicago that is the one seed in the NBA Eastern Conference, the Bulls. The Bulls have a 104-99 victory yesterday against the Indiana Pacers. And after this win, that puts them up one game to nothing en route to their NBA Finals Championship. I'm looking at at least an 8 peed here, Bob. <laughs> Before we get out the Polish sausage, the hawk season isn't over yet, and since it has been done four times before, I'm not doubting that it can't be done again. So before you tune into doubles, make sure you at least watch Tuesday night's matchup against the Canucks because it is not over quite yet. This has been Peter Marzano, and let's go Hawks for one last game.